Hello guys, Pudding231 here. I'm going to show you how to drift in Gran Turismo 5. So, it doesn't really matter what car you use as long as you get the hang of it. But, my favorite car is the Mazda RX-7. Just because it's cheaper and I upgraded it to about 360 horsepower, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you can have the best car in the game, but sometimes it won't drift as good. You just have to tune it right. So I'm going to go and uh, go to, to a drift track, and you can do it in practice mode, in GT mode, or in arcade. doesn't matter, really. And I'm just showing you the cars here that, you know, I have. The Porsche, that rough car, is pretty good. So the Nismo I recently got. So we're going to go to practice mode. And we're going to go to the well-known drift track that everyone usually drifts in. Which is, uh, I can't ever pronounce it. It's uh, Tsubaka or something. It's Scuba. Tsukuba uh, or something like that. So, and everything here, I put it on full lap drift, and everything should be done for you. I do it on automatic. I don't want to hear anyone saying, oh, you suck. Manual's better. I don't care. It's better for me. Comfort soft, and everything should be done for you already. So, so you just click OK. And we get it on. And not like that. So, um, while it's loading... Uh, hmm, what should I say? It's actually my first time kind of talking, kind of like a commentating, sort of like. But, uh, yeah. We'll just wait for it to load and everything. And sorry about the background noise. So, okay, so you, as you see, I did some already. But I just wanted to show you guys how. And, uh, first thing you want to do and I actually do a really nice drift here there it goes sexy little drift alright now and it can go for any car out there um, first thing you really want to do is uh, heat up your tires that, that loosens them up a little bit and it'll make you drift a little easier. I mean, that's my opinion. I, I do it sometimes. See, like, you can do, uh, like, donuts to heat up your tires. It doesn't really matter. As long as you heat them up. So here I do donuts for a while. Not too long, but just enough to get them heated. And your car start, might start drifting right away. Like, once you turn the car just starts to drift like about right here you'll see that my car swings so yeah okay so here my car will start you know drift right away see I just turn and then it just automatically just wham just start drifting um, it depends what car you have I just like drifting in this car because you know it's actually what a lot of Japanese drifters use sometimes. So here's also a nice drift. And it's all about balance. Like, and they're in timing. Like, if you go and the turn is coming, you don't turn, or you don't start drifting on the turn. It's best if you start drifting a little bit before the turn comes. So about right there, that's where you should start drifting kind of started out a little late but if you know how to keep your balance or like you know when to press brake or something then you're fine but this is for people who don't you know know exactly how to drift well so here's another drift that I think I, yeah, I, I kind of screwed up on it I didn't have enough speed on this one okay so I'm gonna have uh, a video of me holding my controller and showing you how to drift like by pressing the buttons and when to brake and when to slide and everything like that and like I said it doesn't matter what car 
I mean, pick a car that you think you like and you would want to practice drifting in. So just choose that car and practice drifting with it. And if it doesn't drift the way you want, then go upgrade it and try to get different tires for it. I would recommend probably Comfort Soft. And that's it really. So I have a next video and I'll show you how to use a controller. Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to drift but showing you the steps on the PS3 controller. How, how I used to drift in it. So I'm going to manage to kind of keep the um, my hand in the camera while I'm drifting. So it's going to be a little challenge, but I'm going to try. I'll try to hold the hold it like this so you can see what I'm pressing. Yeah. All right, so let's try it out. All right. So I told you that you can already I told you that you have to No, let me make it lower. Okay, I told you that I had that you have to warm up your tires before you drift, and that goes for some cars. But yeah, okay, so you accelerate R two minus R two, and when you get about right here, when you get about right there, that's when you have to turn and press on the accelerate like all the way. So about right here. So I'm gonna go back. having trouble keeping my hand in the camera alright so I'm gonna get there and then that's where I'm gonna turn and put the handbrake press the handbrake and just keep holding the accelerating button and kinda of balance my car while I am drifting okay I'll do this instead alright keep going like that and then when you get here, press the brake to slow it down, press circle for a second, and then press on the accelerating button. Which I totally screwed up there, but you get the point. Before you get to the turn, like, like before it turns, press on the brake to slow down, of course. Then just hold the handbrake for one second, and then just press the accelerating button. See, I slow down, press it for about, well, that one was shorter, but... That's what she said. And, um, see? I just hold the accelerating button and I just balance the car while I'm drifting. Which is like doing, you know, balancing the car while on the drift. So that was basically it. Just wanted to show you. Probably not the best because it was my first time doing it. I'll just show you one more time. You do this. And then. Well, I mean, cars have different. Um, aspects of drifting. I mean this car has comfort soft tires and stuff so I mean th cars will be different in drifting like sometimes you don't need anything special for it it just starts drifting <laughs> probably just a little tweaks here and there but it'll start but here I upgraded this car to about 300 horsepower it originally had like I don't know 100 or 160 or 200 around that and I didn't do much so yeah thanks for watching